Yo, yo, welcome to Trippy Commentaries. I'm RJ, joining up with Mike. What's up, everyone? We are in the original version of GTA 5, checking out the satellite array. Now, this is a really interesting location, Mike, because they yes. have completely changed it on the next-gen version. We'll be checking that out in this episode. Uh, it's kind of funny turning on the old-school version of GTA 5 here. It's not nearly as detailed. It really right. looks a lot blurrier. Of course, the draw distance is pretty terrible in this when you compare it to the new version. Yeah. And uh, it's really cool how much more detail they've added here at the satellite array. This is one of the places we kind of figured would have something to do with the Chiliad mystery. Right. You have all of the satellites pointed in one direction except for one, which seems to point yes. over towards either Fort Zancudo. Kind of looks like it points to the right of Zancudo, maybe even to the Altruist camp. Right. Uh, pretty interesting there. Very. Also, I mean, I lined it up, and it looks like it kind of goes directly towards the water towers, which are, of course, right next to Fort Zancudo. They have alien writing on them, and it's still an area of mystery here in San Andreas. So uh, let's yes. go ahead and head over to the new version of GTA 5, Mike. There's definitely a lot to discover. A lot of people are talking about the unsolved mysteries in the game. We have some new peyote plants that they've hidden around, as well as uh, monkey uh, pictures that uh, you can find. Crazy okay. stuff going on in the new world of Very GTA crazy. 5. Let's head on over and check out the new graphics of the satellite array. Here we are. Damn, Mike, it looks a hell of a lot better. A lot more clear, and I think the first thing we noticed here at the satellite array is the green orb in the middle of the satellites. Yeah. Strangely, it is the same color as the space docker green. What a coincidence. Right. And also a big change here, Mike, is you can see different colored secret FIB vehicles and vans when you can find the FIB agents and the uh, scientists here earlier in the day, for some reason, they changed the colors. What's that about? I don't know. It's very odd that they changed the color of the vehicles, but they sure did. I know. Who knows if there is some kind of symbolism to the color change. They couldn't have done it for no reason at all. Hmm. Definitely something to think about here as we near 100% completion of the game. We'll make sure to show you all of the UFOs. We'll head back up to Mount Chiliad. A lot of people have been talking about that mural recently, Mike. Is there something hidden behind it? I mean, they added all this new stuff in the game. You could tell Rockstar certainly knows all about the Chiliad mystery, and I think we're sure that there's going to be a payoff to it in the end. If there was something to spawn, do you think it would possibly be at the Chiliad mural? The satellites now seem way more significant now that course they have the green coloring what the hell just happened here <laughs> oh. someone took us out oh, randomly no. I guess oh oh no oh god uh, what's happening good thing we woke up just in time uh, let me move out of the way oh, oh. <laughs> I picked us off so anyways getting back to the Chiliad mystery Mike where do you think would be a possible spawn point for the jetpack the altruist camp Maybe Fort Zancudo, the satellites. Well, what do you think? Personally, myself, I think it will show up at the top of Mount Chiliad somewhere. Um, because that message at the top of Mount Chiliad, just come back when you complete. Uh, it's just, to me, that's obvious. There's something there. Um, but we have to complete the game, get 100%, like you said. And we're almost there. Um, you're really working your ass off getting the getting there, and uh, I commend you for that. Yeah, stay tuned, guys, because we will be showing off the UFOs very soon. We have a lot of things to to actually try out with the 100% file, and hopefully we will unlock something. We have one more thing to check out in this episode. We will see you there as we get ready to check out the UFOs for the first time. Here we are right next to the Zancudo River. Now this is a location I wanted to point out because in the last edition of the game you could find a hidden grave located right here. But for some reason they decided to take it out of San Andreas altogether. 
It was kind of an odd, unmarked grave. I thought it would have some significance with the Chiliad mystery, but now that it is gone, I guess that's out of the question. I'll put a link in the description to the uh, episode where we actually looked at it in the last version. But now it is gone. Uh, one thing I want to ask you about, Mike, there is these peyote plants. We've almost collected them all. Yeah. Nobody knows what the reward will be when we actually get the last peyote plant. Will it turn us into an animal that we have yet to see here in GTA 5? What do you think? Do you have any ideas? Who knows? Maybe even it even has something to do with the Chiliad mystery. Maybe uh, we uh, get abducted in some cutscene by some aliens and hallucinate, you know, that type of situation. Uh, could be anything else, like you said, some sort of animal. Um, that would be awesome. So, who knows, the possibilities are endless. Yeah, that's for sure. And of course we have this rail gun, guys, so once we get 100%, we have a lot of theories with this. Maybe you have to shoot the space docker, maybe you have to shoot the UFOs. <laughs> we will find out soon. Make sure to stay tuned here, Trippy Commentaries, guys. We have a lot to show you, as once again, we're about to have 100%. In the next episode, we'll be checking out the Zancudo UFO for the first time here in Next Gen GTA 5. Make sure to stay tuned, guys. More importantly, stay trippy until then.